Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is trigonometry and friends trigonometry is one of the very important topic for all kind of government competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. Friends, in all the exams you can find question from the trigonometry and friends if you are preparing for any central government jobs then trigonometry plays a very important role because more than 5 to 10 question you will be getting in your central government jobs. So friends this is the second video on trigonometry I will suggest you to please watch the first video of the trigonometry then you will be easily able to understand how are we going to calculate the values of the trigonometric ratios. Yes friends so in our today's session we are going to calculate values of the trigonometric ratios. So friends what are the trigonometric ratios we have? We have sin, we have cos, we have tan and then friends we have cosec and then we have sec and then we have cot and friends the angles we have is 30 degree okay 0 degree and then 30 degree and then 45 degree and then 60 degree and then 90 degree so friends basically for solving the questions of trigonometry so minimum requirement is you should be knowing the values of sine cos and tan so sine 0 sine 30 sine 45 sine 60 so friends there are two ways to get that value so one way is to remember and other way is to calculate from the triangles which i will be which i'll be telling you once i will write down the value of this so friends sine 0 will be 0 sin 30 will be 1 by 2, sin 45 will be 1 by root 2, sin 60 will be root 3 by 2 and sin 90 will be 1. So friends sin 0 0 sin 90 1. Cos 0 will become 1 and cos 90 will become 0. And friends cos 30 will be nothing but root 3 by 2 and cos 45 will be 1 by root 2 it will be same and cos 60 will be nothing but 1 by 2 ok. Now friends tan. So tan 0 will be 0 tan 30 will be nothing but 1 by root 3, tan 45 the value will be nothing but friends 1 and tan 60 will be nothing but root 3 and tan 90 value will be infinity that is not defined. So friends if you know this value at least then you will be easily able to calculate the cosec sec and cot. Friends cosec will be nothing but cosec will be nothing but 1 by sin and sec will be nothing but 1 by cos and cot will be nothing but 1 by 10. So friends if you have to calculate so friends if you have to calculate the value of cos 0 ok. So cos 0 will be nothing but cos 0 will be nothing but 1 by sec 0 right ok. Cos 0 will be nothing but sec 0 ok or friends if you have to calculate sec 0 then sec 0 will be nothing but 1 by cos 0. So friends vice versa. So cos 0 is what? Cos 0 is nothing but 1. So in sec 0 will be nothing but also 1 by 1 which is nothing but 1. So like this you will be able to calculate ok. Sin 30 is nothing but sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. So if you have to calculate cosec 30. So if you have to calculate cosec 30 then it will be nothing but 1 by sin 30 and 1 by 1 by 2 will be nothing but equal to 2. So you can say cosec 30 value will be nothing but 2. So friends it will be, it will be nothing but just 1 by 1 by sin 0. So 1 by sin 0 will be nothing but infinity because 1 by 0 will be not defined and again cosec 30 will be nothing but 1 by 1 by 2. Cosec 45 will be again 1 by sin 45 so this will become root 2 and cosec 60 will be again 1 by sin 60 so this will become 2 by root 3 and friends here 1 by sin 90 so this will become 1. So friends if you know how to get the values of sin 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 then you can easily get the value of you can easily get the value of cosec right cosec all the angles. So friends in the similar way sec and cot. So either you remember these things or I am going to tell you using the triangles how to calculate. So friends you make two triangles you make two triangles and both the triangles should be right angle triangle ok and 1 1 1 and root 2 and this angles you write 45 degree and 45 degree and friends this is again a right angle triangle so 1 you make at 30 degree and 1 60 degree and friends this is 2 ok and this is 1 and this is root 3. So these two triangle friends you keep in mind and then no need to remember anything you will be easily able to find out the values. How? So friends sin 30. So sin 30 will be what friends? So 30 degree is here. So sin 30 so sin theta will be nothing but perpendicular divided by hypotenuse perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So this is 1 and divided by 2. So this is nothing but sin 30 sin 60. 
so sin 60 will be nothing but friends again sin 60 friends so 60 is here so it will be nothing but perpendicular by hypotenuse so friends in the first video i had told you how to calculate how to know that what is your perpendicular and what is your hypotenuse so friends if this angle if you want to calculate then in front of that that will become your perpendicular and your hypotenuse will never change so perpendicular is root 3 divided by 2 so friends like this will be able to calculate sin cos and tan and friends once you get the value of sin 60 and if you want to calculate cos 60 if you want to calculate cos 60 then it will be 1 by sin 60 1 by sin 60 so friends so friends from here it will become 2 by root 3 now many of you may ask sir what about 0 and 90 degree so friends sin 0 it is easy to remember so sin 0 is nothing but 0 if sin 0 is 0 then sin 90 will become 1 and if cos 0 is nothing but 1 then cos 90 will become 0 so friends only these things you have to remember and if you know this then tan 0 degree we can easily calculate so friends if you know sin cos then tan also you'd have calculated because tan theta will be nothing but because tan theta will be nothing but sin theta but a cos theta so friends tan 0 you see sin 0 by cos 0 0 by 1 so tan 0 will be 0 and tan 90 so friends tan 90 will be nothing but sin by cos 1 by 0 will be nothing but infinity will be infinity so friends this is how you can calculate the values of the trigonometric ratios so i have told you multiple ways to do that so you can decide which one you are very much comfortable and accordingly you can keep that in mind friends thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you understood how to get the values of the trigonometric ratios